March. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. They took my saddle in Houston, broke my leg in the Santa Fe. Lost my wife and a girlfriend somewhere along the way. In defense of human liberty, Alex Jones. I'll be looking for eight when they pull that in. And I hope that just Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I have on the line with me Stan Deo of standeo.com. It's an excellent site with information about earthquakes. And, of course, there's been a lot of information about a lot of earthquakes happened just yesterday. We had a 6.9 in Peru as well as a 6.1 in San Francisco. And, of course, we see there's seismic activity that they're warning about in Iceland. We're talking about where your risks are, and we're going to, to talk to Stan about what you can do. The people in San Francisco only got a 10-second warning, so we want to give you a little bit more of a warning, give you an idea of what to expect in the aftermath of an earthquake, how can you prepare for it. But before we do, I want to tell you that this hour of the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by OccuPower. It's a new product that we have at InfoWars Life. It's a new eye super formula, nutraceutical. It's available in limited batch supplies only. We just got a new batch in, the first batch in, just a few days ago. Already half of it is gone. It's going to take another six to eight weeks before we get our next batch. This is based on the same regenerative principles as DNA Force, but it's at a more affordable price targeting the nutrients that you need to replenish the cells in your eye. And, of course, those go through and are, need to be replaced very rapidly. Uh, it's the cause of many diseases, a contributing cause to things like macular degeneration. 
OcuPower focuses on assisting the natural function of healthy eyes nutritionally, not through surgery, not through harsh pharmaceutical drugs. And that's available at Infowars.com forward slash eyes or InfoWarsShop.com, where you'll find the other products that support our operation. Now, going back to uh, Stan Deo, Stan, just before we went to a commercial break, you were talking about the proliferation of sinkholes, not just in America, as we were talking about at the New Madrid Fault. There's uh, a lot of holes that are forming there in a uh, very major fault that's not in California. It's kind of in the central part of the United States. But you were talking about what's happening throughout the world, uh, especially in Mexico. We had to go to a commercial break. Go ahead and continue with that. Okay, well, um, I've been working for a number of years uh, with a number of other people who have also been studying this. Uh, it's known as the expanding Earth theory or hypothesis. And uh, under this uh, concept, a few thousand years ago, the Earth was 25% smaller, um, or 20% smaller than it is now, and in diameter. And it expanded, and we think that it occurred somewhere around 2300 to 2100 BC. And that's what caused Pangaea to break up. Now, this this is in direct contrast to what they teach in uh, in the universities. So I'll tell you that right now. There's a lot of controversy over this, but um, it did occur. I'm I'm positive with this, and. If you see my hands here, what happens is the Earth expands like this. It stretches the, the thin mantle where we live on top of it. And uh, when that, that stretching is like blowing up a balloon, it makes things get bigger in all directions. Now, I, a lot of the sinkholes, I'd say 85, 90% of them, are due to water intrusion underneath structures or underneath the surface of the ground. And they make round holes rather than jagged, long tears, that kind of, as a general rule, they are round. What happens, I'm pretty sure, is that the expansion of the Earth is stretching gas pipes, water pipes, power lines, stuff underground, and they are starting to leak. And the leak, of course, creates the, the moisture in there and uh, reduces the, the, the pressure sideways pr pr uh, pressure on the dirt grains there, and it collapses in, in a uniform circular hole. Now, it, to me, this is a sign that we're uh, experiencing a planetary expansion, a very slight one, but we're starting to expand as the planet ages. Now, I don't know whether this will increase dramatically or whether it'll just be a small uh, event, but it is large enough to affect us making these, these potholes or the, you know, these sinkholes all over the planet and now starting to make the tears like near uh, Sonora, Sonora, where it's 12 miles long. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I... <sighs> I could be wrong. Uh, I, I put that caveat in there. But uh, with everything else that I've studied in the past, this does seem to be where we're headed. Of course, that you had referred to briefly was the fact that as we see these plates, if they don't have a constant earthquake, as, as we see in San Francisco and other places like Wellington, uh, New Zealand, places that are uh, near fault lines, they like to see little tiny earthquakes going on all the time. There's a constant movement between these plates. The problem arises, of course, when you don't get that or when you have a lot of tension that is built up. So talk to us about the places that uh, we've got a lot of tension built up. Of course, in the uh, New Madrid or New Madrid Fault, they say that uh, it's been 200 years since we've had a major earthquake there, and that's the one that runs through the central United States. And uh, they just had in May the federal government simulating the effect of an earthquake that was so massive that it killed 100,000 Midwesterners instantly and forced another 7 million people out of their homes. I mean, how can people prepare for this type of thing? And, and where are the danger areas in the United States? Maybe take that first, then we can talk about the preparation. All right. The danger areas certainly are along the New Madrid. And as I said earlier in the last segment, the, there's a fault connecting the, the New Madrid to the west through Arkansas and up into Oklahoma City area. And they're doing all this fracking there. And I'm, and I'm not sure whether this is fracking for, you know, uh, gas, uh, water, etc., whatever they're fracking for. Or um, is it possibly a government... Um, effort through uh, private corporations to make small earthquakes relieve pressure in Oklahoma City and between there and New Madrid. I know they did this uh, when I was in Australia down in Perth. There was about a 7.8 
that uh, Richter uh, earthquake building up just north of Perth, and it would have taken down three quarters of the buildings of the city had it released. So there were very quietly teams moved in that went through the uh, the outback there up north of Perth, uh, detonating TNT at certain places along the tributary fault lines to make small earthquakes to relieve the pressure so the big one didn't occur, hmm. and it did not. So it may so, be a form of geoengineering. Uh, it may be. Yeah. It may well be. And so we may be complaining, you know, when we shouldn't be. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's probably attributing a lot of kindness to the government that may not be there. But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Incompetence. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, okay. In other places, um, the uh, West Coast, Northwest Coast, you know, uh, Oregon, Washington State, those are, are going to be areas that could even see tsunamis when that uh, Richter 9 releases. And it will release. It's just uh, we don't know exactly when. It's overdue now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in uh, Eureka, north of um, San Francisco, in San Francisco itself, we're going to see more earthquakes there as this, the, the period of time intensifies. Uh, New Zealand, you mentioned that. Uh, I've been getting emails from uh, people down there, one from uh, a, a Maori lady, uh, the Maori Indians that live there, and she was telling me that she'd had a dream vision of, of magma flowing from the central island, uh, center of North Island down toward her at Wellington, uh, again, that being Lake Taupo, and that region is under a huge amount of stress. Um, whenever that went off back in the 87 AD, the last time, it made dust go up into the northern hemisphere it's so heavy that the Chinese astronomers recorded three days of darkness from it, not knowing wow. what caused it. Wow. So that's another area of people in New Zealand are pretty much aware of that. We've covered it. I've been down and visited uh, Holly and I with the IGNS down there and uh, did uh, enough shame on the radio of their government that they started funding money to start monitoring temperatures and pressures there to warn people and try to save as much of uh, North Island as they can when it hits. Mm -hmm. uh, so there... Uh, let's see, uh, the Middle East, of course, well, you know, Iran, Iraq area uh, into the Mediterranean, that's going to be unstable for, for some time. So in the United States, New Madrid, uh, Yellowstone area, and the northwest uh, coast along and, and down into California, down to the Baja, all those are areas that are likely to su suffer some severe earthquake damage. As I said to you before, um, if you look at the plots of earthquakes I've got on my show images page, you'll see one that shows a plot of earthquakes for the last oh, 40, 50, 60 years uh, in the United States. And you'll see kind of a clean zone, um, you know, up above Texas, and uh, that clean zone stops at uh, the east side of the Rockies. On your map, it would be like that if you look at me on TVB, east side of the Rockies. And those areas are fairly stable, but outside that, it's anybody's game. Now, you can do a lot of things to help you prepare for that. On our website, standao.com, at the very top left-hand corner in a yellow box, it says free prep info. And next to that, it says nuclear, it says NBC, but it means nuclear, biological, and chemical preparation. And next to that, threat watches. Um, and... Uh, if you click on, say, the first one, Prep Info, that will immediately tell you some things that you need to do for uh, food storage, water treatment. Uh, it, it takes you to sites, you know, that you can just click on that they supply these various things. And also on that page, you'll see Dare to Prepare, the cover of Holly's book, which is, I think, 632 pages long. And it it's kind of the Bible of emergency preparation. I mean, even first responder schools use it to, to teach their first responders. Um, if you have time, uh, get that book and read the sections that are pertinent to your area, you know, for earthquake or tsunami or, or, or volcano or um, tornado, or lightning strike, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. There's about 70 different uh, things that she, she prepares you for, what you need for that. Medicine, uh, food, uh, water. Um, and, and, then, and of course, many uh, of the things that you would do for a natural disaster are the same sorts of things that you would do to prepare for a nuclear, biological, or chemical attack. You need to get, you know, bandages, beans, and bullets, as they say. You know, the, the types of things, medical care, uh, store food and water, or the, the ability to uh, purify your water. And then, of course, uh, a means of defense if and when society breaks down. NBC attacks are, they've got some curly edges to them, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, if you get the EMP pulse from it, it'll wipe out your electronics, your computers, and communication, and you'll be...